fifth and sixth. I am super excited because when I got on the music scene too long ago for us to actually admit, I think, I followed both of your bands all around. I got to go, now I don't get to go to as many shows because we play, but You're I mean, busy. Uh, yes, but I have been trying to get someone from both of your bands on here for ages and this is awesome. If anyone doesn't know, Brian Magner, Crash Rocket, Zoo Crew, Melody Magner, Zoo Crew, and Toy Box, right? And when we're done with this, we're gonna sit down and do an interview, um, individually both. We're gonna just get some stuff out there. I think there's a lot of stuff people don't know, especially because you don't play as often. Right. So I think it'd be really cool to get all that out there. Um, by now you all know the deal. If you wanna be on the show, please let me know by Monday at seven. It is now Tuesday at like 7.30, 8 o'clock, and we're filming. So I usually make this thing on Monday night. If you get it to me after that, I may or may not get it in, but I'll do my best. So we'll get started. Some of these places, it's cool, because I don't know the Daytona ones as well, and you probably haven't been to some of these as well. Um, so we can kind of run through them. So this is Sanford Brewing Company. Mm -hmm. um, they have two locations. They have one in downtown Sanford, one in Maitland. It's this really cool indoor, outdoor, craft beer, food, drink venue. It's actually one of my favorites. I love it there. Um, Acoustic Inferno is Lindsay and Craig. Mm -hmm. um, they yep. put on a great yeah. show every yep. single time. Um, and Crossfire Hurricane is actually a Rolling Stones tribute. That's yeah. pretty cool. Which is very Good cool, name. right? So Friday is Acoustic Inferno, Saturday is the Rolling Stones tribute. And then on Sunday is Fred Lepacki, who I have still not seen, but he's there all the time. And I, I go with the theory that. that if you're constantly on the band crawl, you must be good, right? <laughs> um, this is the other location in Maitland. Same thing, it's an indoor outdoor venue. It's on more of a side street, so it's not quite as chaotic as Third Street in Sanford where there's a lot of traffic oh, up yeah. and down. Sure. Very cool vibe. Um, Mike Pekcevic is there all the time. Again, most of the acoustic people I haven't gotten to see, but if you see them all the time, I mean, either, either the owner's right. deaf or the, or the guy's good, right? They're doing something right. Decaphonics you would really like. They are a, um, they're a corporate band, really, and they have a duo, a trio. I think they go out as a four-piece, and they have a full band. Nice. And they are fantastic in like every single version. Yeah, I like the name, too. <laughs> they're <laughs> super nice people, too. And Saturday is the Mike Quick duo. And then Sunday is Kelly Gerard. Uh, we have actually determined, by the way, if you get to see the people who play there, at least the, I haven't seen all the, the posters, but I've seen a lot, that like, you have to be at least part supermodel to play these venues. These are all like very handsome, very pretty people. So like, I have to go with a stunt double if we go back. Um, you're familiar with Dexter's, of course. Why don't you take that one, Brian? Uh, Friday and Saturday is Sheila and the Sound. I've not seen them, not but they're regulars at Dexter's, yeah. and Dexter's is picky about their music. Must be yeah. So I'm still going with They Must Be we Good. We haven't been there in a while. But. Have you ever been to Cafe Murano? It used to be Jane, Gina's on the Lake, right there in Altamont by the Altamont Mall. I've not, but I have heard Shadow no. Cabinet. Shadow Cabinet. So this is their debut there. Very good. Right? Yep. If, they're, if it's yeah. alternative, these are the guys, right? Good, they yeah. play a wide variety of it. They're not just like the one band thing, because right. Rusty has a killer cure tribute band, mm -hmm. and I've seen some others. You know, oh, there's Rusty a Depeche Mode band, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But they do it all, and this is their debut weekend over there. So nice. I'm excited for those guys. Go say hi to Bob Cole for me. And then the Alley. Have you been in the Alley? Of course. You've played the Alley, correct? Yes, yes. Now Crash Rocket has has Zoo Crew or Toy Box. No. Okay, well, that needs to happen. That needs well, to happen. We're talking to Mike. Chris yes, Johnson. yes, Chris Johnson. We're gonna have to get with him and say, "Hey, what's going on? We got we got to get in there and get yeah, those yeah. bands there." Sure. Chris and Michelle. Johnson. Oh, I didn't. I didn't even his know. I have not met oh. his. I actually, do you know? I haven't met Chris either. I've only, I've dealt with them on social media. I work with Nicole O'Brien on and off when things are going on there, but I actually oh, yeah, have not cool. met him yet. So I have to do that at some point. I mean, you can't go wrong with Hypersonic. No. And Eric's just back off of a tour. Mm -hmm. I think he was with Adam Calhoun. Did I get that right? It's a country rapper, which still makes my head hurt a little bit. I don't yeah, understand I, that. I, I but Steve told us recently who it was. But, but I think it's Adam it. Calhoun. Don't hold me to it. But yeah. he is just back from the first leg of that tour. I think they're going back out and doing more later. So this is like a welcome home party. Nice. And definitely go by and say hi to those guys. Um, Castleberries. Now, I, now there, you haven't before. played. You did play there. Yeah. yeah. You waged there. Crash Rocket in the cast, and the building still stands. <laughs> wow, I'm impressed. Yeah. Why don't you take we that one? We were amazed. Yeah. Castleberries on Friday. We have Barfly, great band. You'd love them. And Saturday, Prowler. Yeah, and I don't. There's a band Prowler that's been around forever, but I don't know if it's the same band. I'm not familiar. Like years and years and years and years ago, I auditioned for a band called Prowler. But I mean, you're talking like. Before almost unknown, you're talking like 15 That's years so now. Ago, yeah. So like I don't know if it's Prowler the same one. kind of a. Yeah, it's kind of generic. generic. But, but, it can be, but yeah. we're gonna have, I'm gonna have to go just to figure that part just out. To make sure, yeah. And then post time Friday and Saturday has the Boomers. 
they've been around forever. Okay. They're it's yeah. that boomers. It is that boomers. Yes, they've had you know lineup changes in between like everybody else, but it is that boomers. Mm -hmm. So wow. that is very cool. And then OB's in the land is like a stomping ground for all of the bands that mm -hmm. we're talking about, right? Yes. So Melody, why don't home. you take that one? So OB's in the land, we love them there. Um, great staff. Uh, the owners are awesome. They take care of everyone. Hayfire will be there Friday night. Love that band. Alex Hayes band, love them as well, Saturday night. So make sure you guys check them out. And they really did a good job renovating that place. They did. It's beautiful. The and inside's no nice. Smoking. The outside's... Oh, I didn't know it was no smoking. No smoking inside. Okay. So that's helpful yeah. for people who are trying to eat dinner. Yeah, and if you're trying to sing. <laughs> yes. Right? But yeah, generally yeah. we play, play outside, outside now. Yeah, yeah most sure. of the bands are under the on, on the stage by the carport, but Which I know they do it outside. Do you, do you like it better outside? Yeah, well, it's a bigger stage. I mean, you know, it's a, it's it's cool. More people can it, fit. It's nice that we have the option. Yes, you know, if the weather's for sure. bad, we can do for it sure. Inside. I am I am now 100 years old and when it's 95 degrees out, I am going to play inside <laughs> because With the AC. I Yes, absolutely. Um Wing Shack. So, have you seen Monticelli? I've heard of them. This but is I've three, I believe live. they're brothers. They are. Uh, they okay, so mm -hmm. they're brothers yep. um, from Brazil and yes. they're just this high energy Fun, fun rock and roll yes. party show. They're, they're I've heard at, lots of good things about them. Uh, me too, and I, I got to see them at the Ken Martin Benefit like two, three months ago mm -hmm. in Sanford, and they were awesome. Like they put on a terrific show. I don't know. I had to make this so small because that's how long Danny that band is. Danny Rising Lion oh, yeah. and the 101 Band. That's and a long name. I think they. Are, I believe they're a Latin band. Oh, okay. Um, so it's going to be a whole Latin theme that night. And they just renovated Wing Shack not more than a couple months oh, ago. Nice. I haven't been there. Uh, to see the renovation, but uh, everybody tells really. me it's awesome that it's a really cool place we in there. Used to play so, there. there in a while. In a while. Oh, you did play there, right? At mm -hmm. one point. Yeah, we're actually doing our uh, Midnight Mayhem's debuting there this month or next month. I don't remember oh, when. Wonderful. We are going to nice play size stage. I remember, and it, was, it, it always did fairly well there. I liked it. And the crowd likes music. Yes, yeah. they yeah. do come out there to, to hear the music, which mm -hmm. is nice. Um, just one more. Are you familiar with this? Have He's you been played there? there before? Oh, right. that's right. I've been Cra there. Crash yeah. Rocket yeah. wedged yes. into just one more. We, we've played there more than once. Yes. Really? I really like that bar. Just two or three more. I like just two <laughs> or three more. I really like that bar. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah, a nice food, down too. home. Yeah, and they're super nice to the bands, yep. and the crowd likes music. And the, I, I have not heard of Swamp Juice, which is there on Friday night. I'm no, not either. Not. No, so we're also we're going to have to just wait for people to tell us what they're what about. What was it on their menu that you liked so much? There was something you, you were talking about that was so oh, good. I just, the, the burgers? The burgers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't, oh, I don't good know burgers. which burger I had, but okay. whatever was really good. Good to know. Yeah. Um, Johnny's Other Side. Have you played there, either one of you? No. No? Uh, you're not familiar with this one? Mm -mm. So it's been around a long time. It's a very popular venue. It's new on the band Crawl, probably in the last two or three months. Um, Friday is the Blacktop Band, and Saturday is Hayes Over Hollywood. I love both names, but I haven't seen either band. Neither have I. Uh, yeah, me neither. Have you played Long's Log Cabin? I have. Yeah. You have with yes. which band? As Toy Box. How'd you like mm -hmm. it? I loved it. Yeah. Waylon and Tanya, the owners. They're very awesome nice. People. Yes. They're very nice, yes. and I hear their crowd is all about the live music they thing. They love live music there. Yes, we it's almost venue. played there, um, and then Bill Hamilton sent me a video of the stage and was like, "There's no way you're getting your six piece <laughs> band in here," and I was like, "Oh, you know what? We're probably not," and so we had to pull back from that. But it looks like they absolutely love they it. They have a great time there. Yes. That is awesome. Yes. And you know, they're looking. By the way, um, he messaged me. They're trying to get some more party dance mm -hmm. bands in there. So if your band is, if that's your thing, like shoot me a message, shoot Go them ahead. a message, whatever, but they mm -hmm. are looking for more bands like that. Main Street Station, I feel like, a matter of fact, Crash Friday. Rock, this <laughs> Crash weekend. That's have you heard of them? Playing? Have you heard of them? Yeah, right, exactly. Brian, you're playing there Friday. <laughs> that's right, and, and you've played there with yes. Zoo Crew and with Toy I Box. I was just there past Saturday. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah I always, Box. you know, you and read enough of these doing the band crawl, you forget what yeah. you actually read because there are so many of them. And the Sunday before was Zoo Crew, so. So you, it's like a home away from there, home yeah. for you guys. Yeah, yeah. It yeah is a fun place. Great and venue. Greg Warren is Stranger, is, is that right? No, that's, that's Greg not, Billings. Greg Billings. Okay, so I don't know Greg the Greg Warren, Warren man. He's uh, he does country and, rock. and pop and southern rock. He's a, he's very talented. I've seen him there during Bike Week and Bike Tupper Fest. I see his name on there all the yeah. time, and I always yeah. confuse him, as you can tell, with Greg, Greg, Billings. Greg Billings from Stranger. Okay, there you go. Their age difference is about thirty years, I'm guessing. Oh, really? At least. Okay. All right, I have to remember that. Sorry, Greg. And then, have you heard of these guys? Trib Never Trib heard of them. Buck uh, it's some kind of gambling thing. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember Bitcoin or something. Tribucon, yeah. Tribucon. So since you're sitting here, okay. Yes. So hold on. So it's it's Journey, Styx, Foreigner, um, Boston. Boston, Scorpions. Mm -hmm. I did. Yeah. Kansas too. I don't. 
I mean, they they always kind of like do two or three different ones. I think ones they've done Brian show. Adams as well. Yeah, they Really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, okay. And like, you're not in that one. No. I just figured because you see Glenn all the time, you might know and I never get <laughs> I can only name like four or five and then I run out of which ones they do. I don't know how he can sing so much without losing his voice. I have no idea. And they're adding another band right now. Yes. They're adding another band to the mix so they'll have nine artists that they jump in and sing and it's Crazy. Yeah. unbelievable. But hey, Glenn is like, talent. he's super talented. <laughs> super talented. Freak of nature. And then Boot Hill next door, so they never send me their stuff. I don't know why they don't like me, but um, <laughs> TBD, no idea who's there on Friday. They suck. Right? Yeah, does those, that, they're on the mean, band crawl all the time. Know. But does that really mean to be determined, or yes. does that mean there's a band name? No, TBD? that's TBD, oh. to okay. be determined. I'm just well, too lazy to write it we out. We know Crush on <laughs> well, we Saturday. We know Crush. Now, I was going to ask you, yes. is that Deb? That's Deb and okay. Fred. And Fred. And who are the who are the other two that are in it? Mike. Okay. Thornton, and he's Ralph. on what? He's bass. Okay, and, and then, Ralph is the drummer. So it's the original. It's Crush. Crush. Yes. That is, she was always so awesome to watch. Yes. In a show, and then she moved for a while. She went up north. She moved. She and came, then came back. back. And they were together but that was for a while, while ago. Yeah. Right. And, and, and how long have they been back doing Crush? Well, she, she, I think she just wanted to retire for a little while, but now she misses it like most. Yeah, sure. Do, sure. Music is awesome. Yeah. Sure. And so she's back, and Fred Too is young actually the guitar player for Toy Box as well. So, I knew that. Yeah. So Fred. Alternates with Crush and Toy Box at this point. That is so. that is awesome yeah. that it is the original I'm lineup. I'm just thankful there. that Deb will share. I don't know if it's the technically that's the right. <laughs> Please, she can share. It's not the original. Technically, the original lineup. I don't. Yes, I, it is. I think it is right. I, think I it thought is. there was a maybe. A well, there was drummer, might have been a different or, bass player. Yeah, but not important. This was the the one that the lineup that everybody. Knows. This yeah, is this is the one know. I remember. I think this is who people know. I am very excited about that. I think Deb is awesome and Ralph is awesome and like that whole band is so fun. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah. And then the doghouse. Have you guys been there? Yes. Yeah. Have both bands, mm -hmm. three bands? All, yes. You've all played there. Yes. I have not been there yet. Okay. Well, Ron tell, tell me about it. Well, it used to be uh, roadside tavern. Roadside tavern. Oh, oh it is. It's the yes, old roadside place. tavern. Same okay, place. I did not know that. I Ronda never knew what this was. Ronda, the manager there, she's awesome. She books the bands. Is that the same Ronda from? No, it was Patty who used it to be a Patty. Patty used to own it. She worked it. under Patty yeah. though. She was mm -hmm. oh, okay. one of Patty's right hand women. So, I gotcha. Uh, now she manages the doghouse and she does a great job. She hires all the bands. They have great food. Mm. Um, they're friendly staff. Is it still the outdoor stage or yes. you play in the doorway? No, this time it's Out, outdoor it's only. Outside. Oh, outdoor Sometimes only. Sometimes yeah. they, they will go underneath and we have if played underneath the, uh, the cover. And this is uh, the place that the used to have like the stage had this section and then there was like a doorway opening oh, yeah, where yeah. like a door no, used to be. That's totally inside. Now it's gone. But now that, that's, that's all gone. That's all gone. I think I still have a picture of you playing your solo in, in the doorway. doorway. In the doorway, yes. Okay, very well, cool. I know Miss Intent has played there before inside and packed the house. Oh, so which I is no they surprise. Still, they, they can still Occasionally they do indoor that. music, but I think right. it's if it's freezing cold or raining out. Oh, that makes sense. And they've got Sesame Plexer. Great which band. I have not gotten to see them yet, but she is going to be my guest, I believe, next week. Dina's a powerhouse. Yeah, oh, yeah, I've yes. seen videos. She definitely is. And then Murder Hornets were here a few weeks ago. So they've got both of those on Friday. Sesame Plexers 3 to 6, Murder Hornets goes on after that. I think they go on at 8. Don't hold me to it, but I know that they're both happening the same day. Mm -hmm. And then on Saturday is Sound Theory. My partner in the band Love crawl, those right? Guys. Yes. Have you gotten to see yes. them? Have you been yes. out and around? Seen them a we, we've times. seen them a few times. Well, yes. you're like me. You play all the time, so mm -hmm. I never know right. what you get out to do. So that's awesome. Yes. Um, Hard Rock Hotel. So Friday is the Cat Four band. Saturday, these guys are good. They're drummers, meh. But you should check out the band. This is Midnight Mayhem. That's my band. We are all dance all right. party. You know, dance party stuff the whole time. To be honest, I haven't seen you guys. I know. You'll is have a great sad? time there, though. They um, love you. Oh, more. we've played there before. Oh, they, okay, you know, good. Yeah. They definitely do, and we've added yeah. some. We're adding some cool stuff that the crowd seems good. to like too. So I'm excited about it. Hopefully, it doesn't rain. Right. It's that time of year where, like, you never know. Half an hour before the show, mm -hmm. they decide the you know no well like it's doing outside right now, right? Mm -hmm. It's gonna be Noah's Ark time. And they so. try they try to like if they know the rain's coming, they'll try to do uh, something in the ballroom. Mm -hmm. But if we've never wedding. had to do that, <laughs> and usually it's booked. Right. But if it's not booked, they'll try. But it, to me, it would be a disaster to I'd, try to. Yeah, uh, I don't know that people would know you're there. They won't just hear no. you walking by. Right. And so, but we love working with Paula. We love the venue. It's great. Yes. Although. I could do without the load-in. <laughs> yeah. I think I need it's a roadie awkward. for the load-in. Yeah. Like last time they had a huge wedding. I mean like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. Oh, and we were yeah. literally like, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. You know, so, wow. Well, but not only so that, then you get the the, uh, the service elevator that only goes two floors. And, and then you got to go to the half an hour yes. to go two floors. <laughs> yes. And then a uh, quick funny story. When we got off of the elevator on the top floor where, you know, where you go to load in, mm -hmm. they had... A bunch of uh, they had a guy doing uh, 
blow up uh, balloon clown, uh, balloon balloon balloons for kids. So there's all these kids blocking our way, and we're, we have this uh, dolly full of gear. Well, Crash, Crash Rocket doesn't does have a lot of equipment, though. Crash Rocket is a very oh, small little, little footprint, right? I'm yeah, surprised yeah. to hear that. Uh, <laughs> I haven't seen Cat 4, but if they're at Hard Rock, I'm going to go with their awesome. They're, so yes, I'm excited sure. about that. Um, Saints and Sinners, I'm sure you've been to. I have not. Yes. They're very nice to us on Facebook, and I talk back and forth with them here and there, but I've never been there. Is rock and What is Rock and Roll Off? Do you I don't know? know. I haven't heard of them. I do not know. But I like the name. I like it too, but I don't <laughs> know if it's like an event or a band. Uh. I think it's a band, but Patty that used to own the... Or the the roadside. 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 She's managing Saints and Sinners. Oh, that's cool. So that's a good contact if you ever need to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. Okay, and I, I used yeah. to deal with her all the time yes. when we played there. You know, I was in Psycho Magnets for two mm. dark years of Bill's life. And uh, <laughs> and he handled most of that, right? Because it's his band. And he's every time he comes on, they're just, he's so awesome out front. Mm -hmm. Like as a front man, yes. as a singer, as an entertainer. Yeah, I love Like his he's voice. just, yeah, and they were just at the alley in Sanford and we snuck in because mm -hmm. we played up the street and we got done earlier. So we snuck in to see just a little bit of them. But, uh, They'll be there Saturday, and it's going to be an amazing show. It'll be a great show. Definitely sure. check it out. And then on Thursday, I did these out of order. You're right. So Thursday is now after Saturday, just so you know. Exactly. <laughs> Sesame Plexer, right? Again, so we already talked about Dina. Dina, I, I am definitely going to get to go out and see Keith them. Keith is the bass player. Yes, Keith uh, Bevington. Uh, yeah. Yes. He's okay. Awesome. Yes, and uh, there's so in Duplexer, I think it's Jay Crozier, maybe. Yes. And but in Du in, in Sesame, it's somebody else with a J, right? Who? I think so. I, I know I'm really bad with names. I say that every show. There's too many bands to remember. There's, yeah, there really are. <laughs> there really are. And then I have only gotten to see The Click once. Um, they played across at Flagler Tavern while we were at Traders. It was, a, I, I want to say them. they were a three or four piece. They were just super right. high energy party. Fun. I think it might have yeah. been a three, right? Drummer three. and the singer played lead guitar yep. and then yep. they had a bass player. Yep. They were super high energy, a ton of fun, that very cool like punky vibe. That's where I saw yeah. them was at the tavern. Yeah, they're yeah. really good. So you can't, I mean, another great weekend over there. Yep. Have you seen Kings County? Yes. I really I like, like them a lot. Have I? Yep. Have you I don't seen think them? You have. Uh, well, I, I saw them at Traders actually. As a three piece or a four piece? Three piece. It always impresses me that as a three piece they sound like a five that piece. That good, yes. Like they're just so full. The sound isn't empty at all. Like mm -hmm. it's just which I still give I think that's the bass player doing a really good job of filling, filling the bottom of that yeah, band out. Sure. But they're awesome. They were on the band crawl a little while ago and they have original music. They have a CD out right now that's actually a greatest hits CD, and then they nice. have a bunch of other stuff on Spotify, so you can buy merch from them and everything. They tour all over the place. And trivia thing, if you didn't see their interview, but they used to be the backup band for Chris Angel. Oh wow! The Magic Chris that's Angel guy, the magician. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I, I thought that was kind of. I and actually, did you see my my other trivia? By the way, do you know where they got that name, Sesame Plexer? No. She, I think she told me before, and I. So one of my friends figured it out, and she confirmed it's right. Adventures in Babysitting. Uh huh. That is the name of the girl who cheated with Elizabeth Shue's boyfriend. That's where that came from. Talk about That's some obscurity, right? There it is. Um, and of course, you've got to know Julie. That's good. And Black Sheep. Yeah. See, yeah, yeah. you've got to know Julie yes. and Black Sheep, yeah, yeah. right? Yes. So I got to see. I never get to see them either, mm -hmm. but I got to see them recently at the benefit for Ken Martin again, and she she will go from top forty poppy mm -hmm. whatever to full blown in your face rock and roll. Effortlessly. I think I got surprised by a Stranger song she did one time, and I was like, that's oh, pretty really? cool. They right. do a really big variety. Like yeah. in that set they did there, they had, they, they had audio, I want to say Audio Slave. But who does Ladies and Gentlemen? You know what song I'm talking yeah, about, right? Ladies and, it's, um, is it Godsmack? Saliva. saliva. It is saliva. So they did yes. that one, but they, I want to say she did Shut Up and Dance or some poppy dance one. Like, yeah. And Steve is really Steve good on drums. Drummer. Yeah, yeah, I was watching him play too. some songs that we play, and I'm like, oh, that's how that goes. That's how you're supposed to play that. He like, he was really keys. good. He did, uh, when he was in the, the one band with uh, Gary, they used to do... Um, yeah, he played keys. Um, they used to do... That's right. He was in that uh, real song, heavy band. Uh, oh, subdivisions, and he would play. Yeah, and they did, awesome. like, Avenged Sevenfold and stuff, too, mm -hmm. didn't they? I think he was in a... I saw them at Boot Hill... Right after I got him with Psycho Magnus, mm -hmm. I forgot about that. Yeah, they were doing all that really heavy, and hard to Joey, play stuff. Joey Smith was in it. That's Joey very Smith. cool. Anyway. And then I've been covering Peanuts. So they're they're you know diagonal, so you can just do the little triangle. Yep. Oh, yeah. I don't know Chris Cornish, but I do love Jen and Tom. Blues rock band. Dave He's Reynolds. A blues rocker. I know that. Uh, you know they play. First of all, their drummer is really really good. His name's Mike, and I had to sub for that band, and I was like, really, you're making me sub behind Mike? That's bad. But okay, fine, whatever. Um, <laughs> They're really, really good. They play a wide mix of music. Jen sings everything. 
like and she's she'll get right out in the crowd like she's an in your face you know kind of like i hope you like it but the door's over there if you don't you like don't. right I, I really enjoy them and more trivia for you i went to high school with dave reynolds sister in new jersey Oh, in our nice. little teeny tiny town and then he wound up down here to talk about small world yeah. that is um, cool. yes and so they will i think they're debuting at peanuts i think this is their first time okay. and i didn't get a chance to put a slide in here but um peanuts apparently does a very popular open jam on sundays yes full back line provided it's uh, called I, uh I, they i saw it on their page they didn't send it to me and i just forgot to go back and pull who it. hosts it it's linda um, it's on their page because that's where i saw it I don't know. You know, because we see it all the time. Yeah, it's supposed to be an awesome jam night, or I guess jam day on Sundays. Yeah. But um, I it's thought like, that was pretty cool. It starts at like six or seven. On yeah, Sundays. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and next week remember to like grab the slide. But what happens yeah. is so many people send me stuff, then I get in the mode of making the presentation and I forget mm -hmm. to go hunt down things I found. Right. So I didn't put it in there, but definitely check out the jam night. So if you've been down to St. Cloud for the Garage Bar, this is the old. I think this one is the old Soldier City. Oh, okay. I okay. think it is oh, the old Soldier City. Soldier City. Okay. But. Yes, and well, I think I it's completely is, redone. Whatever, whatever. But okay. um, the rundown is Raphael, Raphael who used yeah. to sing with Sound Theory. Yes. And actually, Lewis on drums, who used to drum with Sound Theory. Oh wow. They play everything. They're just a. Yeah, fun, I love his voice. He's, yeah, he can sing whatever, mm -hmm. and he's another one that plays like 80 gigs a week and never loses his voice. Yes. Which says something about the training. We saw him at the yeah. Treehouse one time in New Smyrna. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. He plays saying, everywhere, yeah. and it does. He, he can just sing. Like he it's no. Busy. It's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, very busy. Um, and I'm trying to remember. I thought Run for Cover was Nikki Boland's band, but she's now in On the Rocks. Right. I think. That's and I don't. What I'm and I don't think Run. For, this must be a different Run for Cover because I don't think she's doing both bands. Unless she's in too. Uh, she, so normally it Nikki happens. will send me stuff. People are. She will send me stuff and say like, "Here's my band." Gotcha. So when I didn't get it, I'm like, mm, "I wonder if it's a different one." So if anybody knows, like, definitely let me know because we have no idea. Um, and then have you been to Bruise and Blues? No. I have not either, but the pictures look really. It's St. Cloud again. Oh, okay. okay. And the pictures yeah. look really, really cool. Okay. The stage looks really cool. The place looks really cool. It's got a very blues feel to it. Like it's it's a. It looks like an awesome venue, but I haven't been there yet. Well, our drummer Jenny lives in St. Cloud. Hey, Jenny. Right. So next time you make a snotty <laughs> comment about me not having your band on the show, <laughs> let me know how Bruise and Blues is. I'm a huge fan of Jenny's. She is just. I used to. Uh, so years ago, that I don't think you guys. I don't think you guys used to do it anymore. But you used to do the thing where you would fog up the stage, and Jenny would airplay your guitar oh, to yeah, like yeah, the yeah. solo and for I'd eruption, be, yeah. and you'd be hiding outside. And without fail, someone would always come up and be like, "She plays awesome guitar. She's as good as you. It's She's amazing. Yeah. She's better than you, Brian. She is so much fun." <laughs> um, Rose Scholars are there on Friday. I haven't seen them, but I love the name. name Rose Absolutely Scholars. love the name. Yeah. And this week, just for fun, I spelled it right. Um, <laughs> and then Saturday, this is a new one for me. The Street Sixty Six. Not familiar. Yeah, me either. So I'm gonna have to wait and see what people say. And then the last one down there in St. Cloud is Drunken Parrot. Have you been there? Yes. yes. So have you played I there? Mm -hmm. I haven't played there. You have not played, played there? They would like you. I drank They would like either... I'm surprised, <laughs> right? I'm surprised. They would like either one of your bands, Zoo Crew or Toy Box. Um, so that's J. Micah, who uh, used to be Micah and the Reason, the J. Micah. Oh, yeah, reason. Okay. Yep. This is the first time I've seen Blues Review appended on the end, so he's up to something new. And I'm sure it's going to be awesome, but I don't know about it. I would and expect then, it. And Bad Manners, I, I think it's still the same Bad Manners that has been playing a long time. Reed Hayes used to drum for them I know a while okay. And I want to say, oh, I'm going to be wrong, I think, but either Mike Petrie did or maybe even still is playing for them. But I thought Mike Petrie drummed for them for a little bit. But again, I'm really bad with names and I get all that confused, but I think so. If he's wrong, email him. Email me. Yeah, <laughs> let me know, hey, you're wrong. My wife will agree with you. Um, Oasis gets... David Hayes and Jack, both nights, right? So Wheelhouse on Friday is their acoustic, um, which is also a ton of fun. And then the full band, Papa Willie, on Saturday. And they have Sam. Sam, Sam now, Bittenbender. yes. Bittenbender, right? So did you see the video of him, I want to say, last week, playing on the roof of whatever club they were playing at? Sully's. That was crazy. I, was, I know, you've been up there, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Your antics are, are well known, my friend. Yes. But yes, that was very, very cool. I enjoyed that. Yeah, line. it is cool. I enjoyed that. And you know, oddly enough, it was the book. same song. Was it really? Was it Stranglehold? <laughs> yeah. There you go. You got to have a song that you can have time to do that. Well, Stranglehold's four days. <laughs> yeah, so, right. I mean, you can do whatever you want. And whenever a band at the end of the night would always be like, we got one more. And then it's Stranglehold. <laughs> you're like, no, you have half a set. And you're just calling it one more. We have um, a running joke. There goes 15 minutes of my life. I'm never going to get Never going to get back. That's, oh, yeah. You must have heard that. Oh. So many. Like one my, million. Yeah. Yeah, I believe it. Um, Friday, our friends in TBD to be yeah, determined. Yeah. Everywhere. Missy. 
everywhere. They're Sometimes playing a two Friday in two different places. Two different places. Yeah, it's incredible. And then this is funny. So Tom Cook sends me every week. What happens is Tom sends me the 20 or I think we're 31 venues we cover in an email. Mm -hmm. And then everybody else just emails me or messages me whatever they want me to cover. He wrote on the thing this week, Oasis on the River is having a local band, but they don't know who. And so I just put local band <laughs> because I don't know who it is. But it's not a tribute band. They're There's having a, a local Oasis, band. Not, not no, this is, um, do you remember is Paradise Cove? Do you remember Paradise um, Cove or Crawdaddies? Docksiders. Sanford? Yeah, it's that one through the industrial park. It's, all oh, the way in the back on the river. There. Wow. I saw somebody Lots there. of yeah, people I, have played there. Yes. And it's had like three or four names. And I, I played want, there before for a birthday party. Exactly. Yeah. It's a very cool place. You've got you're right on the water, you've got the pool, like it's yeah. very cool. Yeah, it's a But nice it's just place. getting to it is kinda like, you know, you drive right. through the industrial park until you're like, it, wait a club. It's the right place. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Exactly. So they, they have a local band. Mm -hmm. And now if anybody knows who at the end of the weekend, I'd love to know. First and last have you guys have played that, mm -hmm. but you have not yet. Have not. Okay, I didn't think so. I've drank there too. I, that's <laughs> see, you are a supporter. I am. You are a supporter. And I love Dale the owner. He's yeah, super yeah, cool. Really guy. And they, I hear that the people there are also ravenous for live music. Love music. They yeah. absolutely love live music. Yeah. Uh, have you seen Fracture? I have. I've seen them on video. What What do you think? I think they're great. Yeah. Uh, they're what great. kind of stuff are they doing? I always say I they're like modern '90s rock. modern rock. '90s, uh, yeah, definitely rock mm -hmm. in your face. And Very who's talented. singing for them? I don't know his name, but he sings well. Okay, because so this I, is the I, I, band. I recommend. That, this is the band that used to be the band part of Diesel, behind Correct. Ronnie, That's and right. they grabbed a new yeah. singer. Mm -hmm. Correct. And went on their way. Correct. And I hear nothing but great stuff from everybody. Mm -hmm. Like Brandon from Hayfire said he loves them. I've had lots of people tell me that, but I have not gotten to see them yet. So that's very cool. Yes. Friday and Saturday, first and last tab in Ocala. And then I have not been to Pinto's Lounge, but uh, actually that's a lie. I saw you at Pinto's Lounge okay. years ago. But I mean like a hundred years ago. Right, like yeah, right. I saw you a long time ago. Uh, but yeah, and matter of fact, you still had Lynn. That oh, is yeah. a that's been a hot minute. Pre yeah, 2013. <laughs> Just a little yeah. side note: they do not smoke inside either anymore. So really, nope. So for okay. people who are non-smokers who would appreciate that, that is a lot of people care about that. They do. Sure. They really do. I get that a lot. So yeah. that's really and they good have a nice deck for you to go. A out big smoke deck out, out back. So. It's really nice there. That's and they're they just this is year 26. I want to say for them because I want to say yeah, it was almost a year ago we did a 25 year yep. celebration, oh, yeah. which is awesome for any venue to pull out. And Kathy's 25 awesome. years. The owner, Kathy's she's great. awesome. That is very Kathy. cool. And Sound Theory will be there Friday night. Mm -hmm. And then on Saturday, I hear they're doing a night where you can come out and pretend to be Melody Magner. Ah. And you can like sing and be, you know, the whole thing. So yeah, get you out can there. Pretend. That's right. Get out there and do karaoke. Just do better. Yeah. <laughs> um, have you been to Muldoon's? Oh, yes. Yeah. You have not Muldoon's. been to Muldoon's? Mm -hmm. I thought it's isn't Muldoon's right there in uh, Port Orange. Is that where it is? No, no it's down here. Like Mulligans. Yeah, I know. Okay, you haven't been there either. Uh, no. So, uh, very know. very cool. Play kind of legendary at this point. It's been there forever. I've heard you know that. Rick Navarro, right? Yes. Yes, so Rick is there. He's a great show every single time. And then that Rachel and Jordan is Rachel Stump and Jordan, whose last name starts with an I, and it's really long, and I'm, I don't want to get it wrong, so okay. I'm just going to go with Jordan. But <laughs> he is great. Uh, I've seen him a couple of times. I've watched videos online. like, And her band, Sass, has really... It did what all the new bands do. There's four, and then there's a different four, and then there's and eventually they land on a lineup mm -hmm. that that's it. It just gels together, yeah. and I think that's where she is right now. Yes. And um, and her band is doing more and more stuff and better and better stuff, and mm -hmm. it's it's really great to see her. This is her first band. This is the first one Rachel put together on her own. Oh. On Everything own, else has yes. been a join. Yes. Right. And so this is hers, and it's really starting to take off, which is awesome. Congratulations to you. Yes. You can't go wrong with either one of these acts of Muldoon. Absolutely not. And then on Sunday is the Lynn Gibson Project. Now, uh, I don't know that either one of you will know Henry Levine, the drummer. So Henry, I know him because he used to be at Guitar Center for a long time, and I bought all my stuff from him, and we became friends, and I used to go out and see his stuff. And so this is his first time jumping back into playing in, in a while. And he's a very experienced, accomplished drummer with like a tour history and everything. So I was just thrilled to see that he's back out doing, doing it. Doing something. Yes, and I've heard they're great, but it's the same boat. They're fairly new. I play almost every weekend. I just haven't gotten to check it out. But I'm so gr I'm thrilled to see that Henry's back out on the scene making me look bad. Nice. That's awesome. <laughs> Have you been to Fredster's? Never heard okay, of it. Okay, so I'm going to make the pitch right here so that you know. You guys... All three bands we discussed have to come play Fredsters. So you've been to Post Time. Yes. I love the Post Time. I love Deanna. Basically, 
triple the size of it. Oh, wow. The stage is probably an extra five to ten feet deep and double the length. Where is it's it located? It's huge. It's in Maitland. It's only been around about four or five months. Um, the, uh, the guy who used to manage Dexter's Winter Park, Adrian, he is the manager and co-owner at Fredster's. Okay. And it is a really nice place, really good food. The stage is amazing. There's house PA. Um, you can use it or you can use your own. And they've got a Behringer X32 console and an EV line array. So it's a really nice PA. Uh, it's, it's just a really good time. We played there last weekend. It was our second time there. The people who come out really like music. Nice. Um, it's very cool. And so I told him, it must have been like a week or two ago. Um, I don't think I said Zoo Crew because I'm old and I forgot. But I said Toy Box <laughs> and Crash Rocket. And I'm like, these are the bands you need to bring in because it would actually hold your crowd. You know what I mean? Like it's a I've big place. I've seen a lot place. of people playing there, like through it's, my feed. Like it's very it cool. Must be. You should definitely check it out. Thursday is off the charts. They're a, uh, they're like kind of like the rundown. They play like Men at Work and they play a little Van Halen. Oh, cool. and it's kind of the poppy side of rock. Mm -hmm. um, and they all, the drummer's fantastic, whose name is escaping me. Dave is on the bass and he sings lead. And they do, you know, they do Journey. They do, they have this nice mix of stuff. Nice. And people danced all night when I saw them. Um, and then on Friday. You definitely know Raging Sun. Yes. Right? So that's Jason from... Jason. You know, at this point, when I say Jason from Donkey Punch, nobody even remembers. Oh, my so. gosh. Donkey Punch. <laughs> like, legendary. I know. Nobody. <laughs> then nobody like, well, who is that? So, um, and did you see last week? I think it was last week. They did their Mars Middle Age Rock Stars. Yes. And Jason yeah. went back with yes. Joe yeah. and sat him with I Overkill. That's awesome. that, yeah, it was very <laughs> cool. So they're there on Friday. You'll absolutely love them. And my generation. generation. Is Donnie. it still uh, Donnie? Still? That's it. Yes, oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. It's, and John's still on drums. Like, And I know... Mark is in the band still, Mark Loria. Um, and I think Dominic Loria is in the band too, right? I thought so. I think both Loria brothers are in the band. See, being the drummer, I can tell you every drummer in town. Of course. And then that's kind of where it dies. I, I forget. So, but anyway, you can't go wrong. And I'm yeah. excited for Fredsters they're because. They're a lot of fun. Well, they're a new venue. So they haven't dealt with Rocket Fly, Skin Deep, My Gem, these bands that are like here mm -hmm. in the list. And that, for a, for a club owner, my personal opinion is that's an experience. Yes. Because you're used to the local bands, and we're all really good. I mean, I'm one of the local bands too. But then you've got your Hayfire, your Crash Rock, like all these bands that are above that. And mm -hmm. I'm going to be very interested to see how that Not plays so much out. here, but here. <laughs> exactly. And <laughs> I'm short, so here isn't that hot. tribute for you. <laughs> okay. Donnie, my generation. Okay actually saying he took over for Greg Billings when he left Stranger many years ago. I did not know that. He was the last that. singer for Stranger. I did not know and that. And they used to play places like this, the other place. I was I had not heard of that place. Is that still around? Oh, no. No, no. I was, was going to say that looked a little faded. Well, I didn't this is retro. Yeah, I thought yeah, that was retro. Like, yeah, I mean, it's a new shirt, though. He yeah, yeah. No, no, I understand. <laughs> and if you, if you get a chance to check that place out, like, I, it's very, very cool. Nice to know. Um, Sully's, which we just talked about. You're playing there yeah. Saturday. I'll yes. Be on the roof. Did you know? On Are you gonna be on the roof? I'm gonna look for video <laughs> of you on the roof for stranglehold. Yeah, yeah. For stranglehold. Yeah. I didn't see how you guys get down. Do you like jump down on the table? Below? They have like a real high table that yeah. Ah, but there's no workman's like comp on that table. job. You know that. Right? <laughs> like no, if you no, go no. up the roof, you're fired before you land. <laughs> and I That's right. You. That's right. <laughs> Carolyn and Dawn Patrol. I have not seen. They're there on Friday, but I love the name. I've heard of them. I've heard of it. I've seen them on the band crawl before, right. but I haven't seen them. And then obviously Crash Rocket, which we're gonna talk about at length a little later. Um, and then Sunday, you don't get to Sunday go home. Again. You need to just stay there. Well, I don't have to. And then wait, Glenn what? will. Oh, Glenn will stay there? Yeah. Well, oh, that's right. I keep forgetting you don't do truth. <laughs> you know what? In my head, you and Glenn are a unit. Well, because, because you know. The, 18 years They ago. got married right. back in and 2004. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like, you guys are just a unit because I'm so used to seeing you on stage together mm -hmm. all the time. Like, I can't get it out of my head that you're right. not. It's Sterling on guitar for Trivia Con. Yes. yes. Okay. Sterling and Mike Jones. Oh, that's right. I was really happy to see him back out there, too. I know. I love Mike. I like him a lot, and I saw that he joined up, and I was like, okay, yeah. that, that's awesome. And, and that's Glenn awesome. and Mike Jones have a long history, even back to the 80s. Oh, wow. <clears throat> I keep forgetting that we're all that old now. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah. Well, you're not. It's just us. Of course. It's just us. Um, yeah. This is CJ's Italian Kitchen. It is this little place in Longwood, right behind the Publix in a shopping center. It probably holds 50 people. It's a down-home, home-cooked Italian food restaurant. And they do acoustic on Thursday nights. Mm -hmm. And um, this is Pete Godila. I've and I, seen him. I, good, I don't even know who that is. Fantastic. Really? What yep. kind of stuff? Uh, anything. He really? covers anything. Okay. See, so now he's I may really, have to go really check good. that out. Yeah. Okay. I had he's, not heard of him. And he's been before. around for a long time. See, and I'm just out of the loop because I was like, who's the new kid? I saw him at um, Oyster Pub. 
Really? Okay. Oyster so bar. So oh, oh, oyster bar. Oyster bar in Orange City. Okay. I got you. No, I'm gonna have to go check it out now because I didn't. Oh, I, for a moment, yeah, I thought really you meant good. Victoria's oyster bar in yeah. Longwood, but you meant for okay. Yes. Got it. So this, you may or may not have heard me talk about this. So this place is called Kalua Hale. It's in Tavares, but Soundcheck is all kids. It is the it is 14 to 16 years old. My goddaughter Kirsten is on the drums. Is there, that Dana's daughter? Dana's daughter. Okay. Correct. All right. And. And um, she's on drums. She's awesome. And then there's two guitar players, Julian and Jake. These kids are both, I think, I think they're 15, but they were in Nashville playing together wow. in like local Nashville places. And then Jake has actually taken time off from the band before to go do quick tours and like play a weekend here and a weekend there. They're both That's awesome. really good on their instruments. Um, Jake sings. Julian doesn't, but Julian plays keyboards and probably other instruments. I just haven't seen them play yet. Right. Um, uh, Sean Saya, who yells at me, I say this every time, she's so adorable. <laughs> she's got these huge glasses, and she rocks out on her bass, and, and like just has this awesome time. And then Oakley is out front, he sings, he's also like super into it, that you know, dancing awesome. around. They're a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, and so they've actually been getting their own gigs. They played nice. the Windermere Food that Truck Festival, cool. they played Black Hammock, now they're playing Kalua so Hale. How did they get there? I don't, so I think they got there from their parents doing a really good job, and then I think uh, Julian. I mean, how did they physically get there? If they're all oh, they like have to that get young. driven. Soccer, they have to get driven there. Oh, right. Exactly. I used to tease Aaron Lightning. Yeah. I used to tease when him when he was little. younger, yeah. and he would be like, "It's it's Aaron Lightning." I'm like, "You can't have a nickname until you can get your own ass to the pub. <laughs> like then you can have a nickname." So these guys are awesome. If you get a chance to check them out, I'm sure you'd love it. Very cool. Um, and a very cool set list. Brian Adams to Avenged Sevenfold. Very cool. Yeah, very cool set list. Uh, you probably haven't seen more than Venus. I've not. Nope. So that's Kitty and Carlos. But I would. Now the duo, <laughs> the duo, um, Carlos plays guitar, but he's actually a drummer. And oh, so wow. yes, and a very talented drummer, but he plays guitar for the duo. She can sing anything you want. Um, they're really fun. They enter, you know, they walk around with the crowd. They just put on a really good show. Um, on Saturday, they are at the Pub, which is on International Drive oh, in Orlando. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the historic bar room is right on Ronald Reagan. In, uh, um, right in right in Longwood, like right here in my backyard, yeah, basically. Nice. It's a very big place, too, by the way. It's like a old warehouse space in a strip mall that has like one of those kids' trampoline places. So all the spaces are really big. Wow. And um, it's a very cool place. And so they're there on Friday night. I know nothing about these guys. Have you seen Alt X? I have not. Okay, so I'm going with, like, I think the guy playing the guitar is doing the Nirvana thing. Because he's got the like striped Kurt Cobain thing going. And the alt. And the hair and X, the alt. Yeah. I didn't get to hear about the band. They're at Rock Pit Brewing Friday at 7 o'clock. They sent me their stuff and asked to be included, but I didn't get an answer on what they do in time. Where's okay. Rock Pit Brewing? It's where they're going to be on Friday night. I don't know where Rock Pit oh, Brewing okay. is. I, I don't know. <laughs> um, and it wasn't on the event. But so they I sent the put info, and so he wanted to So I wanted sure. to put I'll put anybody so on who wants to send Absolutely. it. Um, and it looks really cool. But I don't know anything about what's going on because you got a got, got Hawaiian shirt drummer yeah. in the back, and those look like electronic drums. But Kurt Cobain is playing guitar for us, and like so, I think they're doing alternative. But I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe each person in the band sings a different a thing. Different or, could be. Yeah. They're gonna have to tell us. Alternative band. They're gonna have to tell us. That's all that's I'm cool. saying. And then duality. So um, Lizzie is on vocals, and she is a riot. She is so much fun. She's crazy. <laughs> She's absolutely crazy. She she does so all this. But, oh, but she <laughs> sings really, really well. Um, and the crowd loves her. And Sean is really her handler. Oh, um, okay. He plays guitar. He sings a little bit. And, and he kind of brings everyone back down. Okay, we got to do this now. Here's okay, your like, meds. He's right. He's, <laughs> she is amazing, though. She is, um, she's a photographer during the day. She owns her photography business. Nice. Um, and she can sing whatever you want. Like, her voice is amazing. That's so that awesome. is always a great show. They're at the East Side Bistro in Avalon Park. Okay. Yes, and it is really, really nice, and the owner's really friendly, but, like, that whole acoustic band fits, like, where this TV is. Like, you're just kind of tucked in the corner, but is they... Is that where they are right there? That's they where they... Um, no, because there's <laughs> there's not that much room. Okay. Right. No, okay. He put their PA speaker on the table behind them <laughs> against the window. Like, it is really crammed in, but it was a really cool place to play. As long as you have fun. That, that's what matters. And then, obviously, we talked about Raging Sun already. Yeah. Thursday, they're at Cafe Da Vinci. 
Um, is that considered Deltona or Deland? I always get Deland. 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 Down, okay. Downtown, right in downtown. Okay, and I know where it is. I just didn't remember what town yeah. it was. And then Friday, I said already there at Fredsters. And then Saturday, one of your stomping grounds, first term. Mm -hmm. Is that the place with the outdoor like decky thing and a gazebo? It's, yeah, it is yes. outdoor. It's covered though. And you can. And sometimes I think I see bands playing indoors. Not. Not lately. lately. Not anymore. Not they anymore. turned it into a steakhouse, an upscale steakhouse inside, and okay. we ate there, and it was fantastic. Really? Yes. yes. And they have dueling pianos now. That's Fridays cool. And Saturdays. That's so, cool. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And so then they put a band outside, and they do dueling pianos. Yeah. And now is yeah. it still both first turn? The restaurant too is part it of that, is. or is it? They December? call it Daytona Steakhouse. First, Daytona Steakhouse at first turn. Sure. Okay. Very cool. Well, I'm gonna have to check that out. Yeah, you should. Take D. Torn, oh, yeah, I always do. I don't usually bring any of my girlfriends. I just take my wife. Um, so have you seen Torn? Yes. Yeah. They are incredible. Yes. I haven't seen them enough. I've, I've only got, to see, like, videos and stuff like that. Uh, you saw them but, at Bike Week. Yeah, but me and Peter are always talking, like, you come out, because they're up, uh, like, in the... Uh, they're in Ocala. Ocala area. Right. And when we play first and last tab, I'm always inviting him if he's not gigging. And then he comes up with some excuse of why I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys are absolutely awesome. I, I went and saw time. them again yeah. at post time. We actually played Saturday at Sanford Brewing and got done early enough that we drove over to post time to catch the last set from them. Troy is one yeah. of my favorite drummers. He sets up these really cool drum kits. Mm -hmm. And um, if you get to see pictures of any of it, it's like an upside down dead spider. <laughs> these huge rack legs that That's come up. Awesome. It really is. And, he, and he's one of those guys who, um, kind of like Emmett when he wants to do it, he plays like there's nothing to it. It's like he doesn't even look like he's thinking about it. He could be like making phone calls right. or something right. while he's doing it. Really, it's very cool to watch. Very cool to watch. Um, they're at Mother's Pub and Grill North, oh, which is in Gainesville. Okay. So they go well, all over the place. But that's up there, you know, yeah, just okay. north of. Uh, okay. They go. So. They go all over. They don't seem to care. Oop! I went one too far and forgot about Rachel. Sass. So I told you they're at somewhere else. I already covered. I forget where I said they were, but we already covered the one. Oh, no, the duo is at Muldoon's. Okay. The band is at Mega O'Malley's in Melbourne <laughs> on Friday from 8.30 to 12.30. And that's a, I think that's outside Dexter's Lake. Mary. It is. That's and I just saw those pictures. Yeah. I just saw her post those pictures today. Yeah. Yes. So, and I haven't gotten to see right. Karen drum yet, but she's have, supposed to be really, really, really good. She's filled in before with Sexme Plexer, and that's how I saw her. Oh, okay. Sesame Plexer. Yeah, I'll let it go. Oh, thanks. I figure if you're sitting next to Brian, you're going to have these slips. Uh, <laughs> you want to But yes, that? and that's Jordan on guitar, and I don't know their bass player. Um, but I just keep hearing more and more things about the band, and it's an awesome lineup, and kudos to you, Rachel. I'm glad it's going well. Yes. Murder Hornets, a Barry Manilow tribute band. No. <laughs> no. No. Um, so they were here. Um, they are very, very cool humans. Super. Um, and it's just a party, fun, have a blast yes. Band. I've seen them. Uh, I have not been to the Alibi. They play there a lot in I'm Geneva. Not either. Have you been out there? I, I, I think so. I don't. I have not been there. But My they. I used to live there. They're all. <laughs> they're out there all the time, and it's always a good show. They're there Sunday from one to five. Yeah, cool guys. And then Torn. This was last weekend. You can ignore it. I forgot to delete the slide. I'll bet you there's more than one of those. No, there's not. Okay. Um, so this is Dina, like we were mm -hmm. just talking about, right? So Saturday, Duplexer is at the Comfort Inn and Suites from noon to three. And I just picture them like all sitting by the pool, feet in the water. Like it sounds like one of those right? like comforting and sweets. But they play there a lot. And then Sunday is Sesame Plexer for Dirty Harry's first Sunday barbecue from two to six. Uh, and she started sending me pictures of the band because I was just picking my own photos. And, and I, she's like, no, no, And no, she's no. like, no, no. How did you find no one of me not in black? We're not doing that. Here's another one. So I'm very excited to have her uh, come in, and I'm, I'm sure the band is amazing. I, I can't bet wait she'll to be wearing black. I'm gonna bring a red shirt. I'm wearing black. I can't See? talk. See, well, there you go. Look, <laughs> rock star clothes. Do you know Scott Kenny or Ben Torres? I don't. So Scott Kenny is a fantastic singer from him. Um, only does the acoustic stuff at this point, and he brings in different people to team with him. Mm -hmm. Now Ben Torres, here's some trivia for you. When I was in Almost Unknown, mm -hmm. we won. No, he won a contest to open for the Little River Band, and didn't have a band, and somehow. He got almost unknown. So to be his backup band? band? Right. Okay. But we were playing our set list, right? Will on bass with the Mohawk to here, mm -hmm. Greg. Um, Dan Powell was singing, not uh, Chris by then. And so we played, we, we got in there and we realized, oh my God, like these are all Little River Band bands. And that was what. And so we got up and we played and we did, you know, Poison and Rebel Yell and whatever. And I remember Dan, they were like, you guys have one more song. And he gets on the mic and he's like, 
you guys want one more? I'm like, we're getting booed. <laughs> we're getting booed. But they didn't. They, you know, whatever. So they were we polite. Played. They were polite. Exactly <laughs> right. But it was, it was a very fun show. And um, and so that's where I met him years and years and years. Again, almost I know it's got to be ten years ago already. Yes. Mm. Uh, and so now he he has his own thing. He plays solo. He plays with Scott. I think he even has a band here and there. Like nice. he's super talented. So that's going to be a great show. And they are at Avalon Tavern in Avalon Park. There's a lot of little. Have you been to Avalon Park? No. It's like a self-contained no. neighborhood. They have like all these houses, and in the middle is like a shopping square with like all these little stores and a supermarket, and there's a, a pizza place and the bistro and the nice. tavern, and the, it's really kind of cool. Is that, like, near Orlando? Um, it is. It's th oh, down towards cool. Orlando, but it's it's very cool, and it's enough out of Orlando that it's like suburban. So in how it so, feels, yeah. it doesn't like feel like you're Dr. in the city. Phillips area. Yes, kind of like it's kind of like that. It's yeah. very cool. You probably heard me talk about this. This Crash Rocket Zoo Crew toy box on there. No. All Music Magazine. So sure. this is Mark Horan. He runs this site. It does 30,000 views a month at a minimum. And every band can post their profile, what they play, the gigs they have coming up, whatever. And I hear more and more from people who call me about, oh, who do you think would be good for this? They're like, oh, and I looked on All Music Magazine too. Oh, like wow. it's becoming a source. And when I went in to look at it, um, he had, my band was already there. Like he had almost all, I'll bet you all of your bands are there, but all he'll have is like a picture and your name and like rock. Because he doesn't Because have he doesn't know or have the time. Yeah. Gotcha. So you should definitely add yourself to well, it. the fact that he does that is It's ridiculous. Nice. Yeah. He's got 29 photographers covering events all over the, around the globe. I Mark feel like Brand. I know who that Isn't is. Isn't he a photographer himself? I have not. Well, you know what? He must be because there were pictures from uh, from some show this weekend and it said Mark Horan Photography on the bottom. So he must yeah. be. You can go to All Music Magazine and there's up top you have to select Central Florida. Mm -hmm. Or you can just go to All Music Mag and you'll land on Central Florida. Okay. So you should absolutely check it out. Um, it's another free resource as people are tightening their wallets and going out less and being more picky. More PR the better. And you have survived the weekly band crawl. Oh my goodness. It was close. It was close. I was worried about August him. So this is going to be great because I have to interview these two together. For those of you who don't know, they are married. I'm going to interview you guys together and talk about some stuff with, with all the bands. And then really, there is so much history behind Zoo Crew and Toy Box and Crash Rocket. I'm also going to interview you separately so that we can get it all covered. And then people can watch what they want to watch and learn what they want to learn. But Yes, it's going to be awesome. So stick around. Thank you again for watching. Go out this weekend. Support local music. Have a great time. Stay safe. Live um, remind rocks. Brian where he's playing because he doesn't know. If it wasn't for this, he'd be home. <laughs> and uh, tell, these, tell these guys we said hi and Glenn missed a good show. See you soon.